this on a Monday. I'm a freaking with punch weight in my closet like a runway. Wanna be my fiance, she fucked me in a Monday. My friends, I got a lounge to sit around and watch a Sunday. Then a day for 1K, shop a day for 2K. Fuji ass bitch make me wait. How's it going guys, Kenju X here, and today we're going to be talking about can Kakarot save the anime gaming community. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get more daily content and notifications when I post my videos. Also, follow me on my social media, it will be in the description down below. Let's get into it. So, if you guys don't know, Kakarot is a new Dragon Ball Z that Dragon Ball Z game that's coming out now i really think that this game could be the peak of like the savior like the, it's, it's i think it's the savior of the anime community like the gaming wise now you can disagree to disagree with me but i honestly i honestly believe that this game is um going to be the best game like just going to be the best game of the uh that came out for the anime side um because so far and like content wise if you're a content creator if you make anime videos or if you just do, do anime gaming in general you will honestly think hey this game um is uh, you know uh, you, you you know this game is pretty shit you know I, I don't understand why this game is trash like we had so many trash games that came out and it was just like at the moment we're like oh yeah this game is hype let's get this game raw yeah I suck my dick and you're just like now it's like okay well now this game is just trash like no one plays it like shinobi strikers and fucking jump force no one plays those games and if you still play those games kudos to you i'm not saying that they're i'm not hating on you if you still play it i still think the games are pretty shit i think they're just trash i don't think i don't like them i i, I gave to, to give you an example when i first got jump force the weekend so of me playing it i already knew i stopped liking it because it was trash now if you guys don't remember um it was i think it's v stars or jump stars uh one of the two um the, it was like anime crossover game it was hot at the time like around the ps3 era it was hot and then it just died like it was just straight <laughs> trash and then now we have Jump Force, the kind of the same exact thing. They're adding Bakugo, Majin Buu. They even added Madara, but I think it's all too late to add these characters in because the game, no one really plays it. No one like cares too much to play it. Like I said, if you still play the game, that's fine. That's kudos to you. Um, uh, Shinobi Strikers, honestly, trash game. It was a game that I thought that I was like, oh yeah, finally we're getting a game where we can create our own character and then we could go into the story mode of like the road to Barzo, like something like that no they didn't even give us that they didn't even give us any of that i have it just i just don't like the concept of the game i just don't like it i think it's just it could be so much better like the game had so much potential and what it was trying to do but it gave us this like uh it gave us this like rpg um computer type game well i i think that's what it gave us that's my opinion i think it gave us like this rpg kind of like kind of computer game like one click and all that stuff type of stuff it, I just think it, that it wasn't a good game. Now, just like My Hero One Justice, um, there's a lot of people, and I had a couple friends tell me that the game was not worth buying when it first came out. Like it was so hyped up, like yes, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this game. Like, and I think, and it was, it did it, so, it did it so well. The perfect, it was at the perfect time. And I'm gonna explain why I mean by that once I get to after all this. Like it was at its perfect peak. Like it was just so perfect. And then it hit me. I said, why is it that every time we get a game, it is just complete shit? It's just complete ass. Like, this game is just complete garbage. Why is that? So, now, if you guys don't know anything about marketing or endorsements or just anything like in that relevance um i'm going to explain it if you already know this is kind of for like the younger viewers all right so when you're marketing something you want it to be like whatever it could be like nike jordan whatever they have a market then they have endorsements they have people who wear the wear the like the nikes and the jordans and stuff like that on games and all that stuff they endorse these people and they have to pay them to do the endorsement and stuff like that so so now you have people like oh yeah so lebron wears nikes okay now like or or hey or you know jordan is wearing uh jordans and stuff like that etc etc so you see your favorite athlete your favorite actresses your favorite actor your rappers wear these type of shoes that's endorsement and you know people are talking about them and bringing them up and then you know like commercials they have different commercials like for the new nike x s too far they they they're, they 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 fucking like uh what what is a good example like um the new iphone 11 like i know a lot of people got it because of three cameras like mind blown just add just add two extra more cameras to we first we started off with a bar 
Then we start off with two singular. Now let's add three. We have the the TN tri effect, and people bought into this because you know they had commercials for it. They had you know different artists and stuff like that. You know people bought into you know getting these getting these shoes and getting this stuff. So they they bought onto it. So that's with endorsement and marketing. Now the reason why I think the reason why anime the anime community or the gaming anime community has a hard time doing that is because they believe that hey the anime the manga and everything else after that is the only endorsement that they need like so they is like oh okay like for example from my hero one just it was perfect timing it had like the perfect um motive because at the time my hero was hot like my hero i'm not saying the anime of my hero is trash or nothing like that i fucking love my hero but i'm just saying at the time at the like the peak of when my hero was like really like out there and it was just getting high so much attention that's when they made the game like oh yeah okay you know everybody likes it you know you know let's just make the game so that's basically what they do they try to give you something why it's hot now dragon ball z games are very different and it's it just it just kind of just happens there's a lot of shitty dragon ball z games and, and there's some good ones like uh battle of gods is a trash dragon ball z game is stupid but then you have xenoverse and fighters and you know my personal favorites like raising blast budokai tenkaichi 2 and 3 um tenkaichi all those all, all the classic dragon ball z games i think were probably the best and then kind of like the new games which i just kind of just said those are kind of like my favorite games now with that all being said why i'm saying kakarot could be the like literally kakarot could be the savior of the anime community because it's such a well thought of game as very good graphics it's a very like it's a homey like it, it hits it's a touch to home basis because we're not only getting a game where we can experience Goku like Goku and also we're getting Gohan's part and I, I know a lot of people were mad because when the gameplay came out there was like a few footage of like the Saiyan Saga and then the Frieza Saga and people thought it stopped at the Frieza Saga and I, I know now we just got some uh Gohan stuff like we're gonna get some more Gohan stuff so that means that leads into like it's gonna be some Majin Buu stuff and stuff like that I think it's gonna stop at the Majin Buu saga and if it does not uh it might go into super so we we, we never know what this get like with that those type of games we never know so they can't add on to it to add on to like hey this is a new story unlock the story you got like dragon ball super now um how to scratch my ear shit uh you can add on to stuff like that like this is this game could be the highlight of like all anime games now there's some uh gameplay out there if you guys some of you guys have not seen it so if you're watching this video it's going to be some gameplay in it obviously or it's already playing in a sense so this is like me breaking the third wall so anyway um like i said the game could honestly be a savior to the anime community because some of fact they've given us what we want like it's a like hey we know that everybody loves you know having adventure like games and you know want to be able to fly everywhere and interact with different characters so you know it's we're giving you what you want you know we want you to have that feeling of be able to interact with different characters be able to interact with different parts of like the the, the game you know have like a free roam based game that the only time i think that the only free roam game that we had at the time is kind of like um if you guys never play i think it's i think it's dragon Ball Z ultimate tenkaichi uh, it has goku on the cover he's screaming it was at the p it was during the ps4 xbox connect series uh era uh i i, I remember it when it popped it uh, when it pops up back in my head like the right naming for it uh but if you guys know what i'm talking about then something like that it was kind of like that but we, we only got to like walk around or fly into a city when there was a mission so having the be able to like roam around and interact i mean fuck you can go fishing like goku grabs the tail puts on his butt he can go fishing like it's it's crazy how well this game has been thought of and how well put it's been so like the game itself is it's a very it's a very good game i think i'm not saying i played it i'm not saying like saying it like i played it but it's a, it's gonna be a very good game let me put it that way it's gonna be a very good game like i honestly think that this game is gonna be honestly the, I say honestly like, like fucking four times. I, I think it's going to be a great game. Uh, I think it's going to be a game where it kind of like just gives us what we want. Now, obviously, it's still time to check it out. Um, I actually was going to pre-order it to get it. I'm going to probably get um, the, exclusive, the exclusive stuff. Like, you know, get all the extra cool stuff with it and stuff like that. So I think about I might I think I'm about I think about doing it, but I'm not sure. It's like 200 bucks, I think. 
it's two, 200 bucks like i'm not finna i mean i am going to just spend 200 bucks on it but it's 200 bucks uh, i know a few other friends are gonna do it so yeah i think that's where i stand on the uh gaming of the anime community wise like they have to kind of step it up a little bit after kakura i believe um the, they just have to give something to give something better now the thing i say that can put this game on its pedestal is if after we get like you know get done doing the frieza saga the saiyan saga you know cell saga and all that crazy stuff is if they add like dragon ball super broly stuff in there like do you understand like how well or how pinnacle that game will be selling if they add like dragon ball super and even if they add dragon ball super they could potentially add like dragon ball gt like add like gt in it even though i hate gt i, I honestly hate it um they could actually do stuff like that i i could see so much potential with this game i think the game is going to do fairly high um let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about this game how do you feel and where you stand on the anime community um i honestly think that um there's so much there's so much they can do so much they can change into you know so many so much potential that i honestly can say that they, they can do um but yeah let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel um yeah uh side note um i'm gonna try to get videos out for you guys uh scheduling wise is really hard so the weekends um the weekends are the best time i can really like make videos uh i'll try to make some videos throughout the week and then you know whatever if i because yeah my uploading schedule is going to be kind of whack for a minute i'm in the process of moving and i'm working so it's really hard but i really do appreciate you guys for rocking with me uh we're at 261 subscribers uh if we hit 500 subscribers i will be doing an xbox giveaway so you guys can get a chance to win an xbox if you guys don't have one or if you just want another one to I oddly effects or and christmas is coming around the corner soon even though we have halloween i'm talking too much but anyway my name is kenji ux i guess i'll catch you guys in the next video until next time Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.